I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to lead people of all walks of life to a deep and genuine encounter with Him. My dear friend, I encourage you as I pray for you today and as I share a message with you, be in agreement, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello, hello, hello to you, my dear friend. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here, and it's so good to be with you today. It is indeed another day that God has given us by His grace, and by that same grace, we keep on going. I tell you, my dear friend, it is the grace of God that helps us to get through every challenge that we can face in life. And by that same grace, we keep on going, and today as we pray, God is going to bless you. My dear friend, I want to take a moment to just share with you on what we have received in Christ. You see, when you gave your life to Jesus, something happened. There was a divine exchange that took place. And in this moment, you were changed from who you used to be to a new creation. The Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 in the King James Version, it says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. Therefore, my dear friend, today I want to tell you, let go of the past and strive towards the future. Let go of those things that previously held you back, those situations, those stigmas that might have been attached to you before Christ. Now that you are in Christ, you are a new creation and you will go far in life. You will make your impact. You are a new creation. Do not let the old man hold you back. And when I talk about the old man, I talk about the man who you used to be or the woman who you used to be before Christ. Let go of those things that were behind that were hindering you and press on, my dear friend, and receive the prize. You are transformed in likeness with Christ. And because of that, my dear friend, you can receive deliverance, you can receive blessing, you can receive the grace of God on your life. You can receive the divine ability to go far in life. You can receive the divine ability to accomplish the divine plan that God has apportioned to your life, my dear friend. I want to pray for you special prayers so that all those things that held you back will let you go. All those things that limited you in the past that are trying to come back right now will let you go and you're going to go to a greater glory. In saying that, my dear friend, let us begin to pray. Take yourself and your device. Just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, my dear friend, begin to lift up praises to God. As your praises go up, the blessings of God will come down and God will touch and change your life forever. In saying that, let us begin to praise Him. Father, You are our God and we just praise You. Thank You for Your grace. Thank You for Your mercy. Thank You, Lord, that You never leave us. You never, ever forsake us. In all that we can be going through, we know that we will make it through because your grace is with us, your presence is with us, the power and your precious Holy Spirit is with us. We know that we will make it through. Lord, we thank you that you never left us alone, you never left us helpless, but you left us in the right place with all that we need in order to make it through. And because of that, we are going to press on and we are going to make it through. We give you praise, we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, I discern the presence of God. And I know like I know, as we pray today, God is going to bless you. God is going to take you to a greater glory. And God is going to do what only He can do in your life. Believe God today as we pray and you shall go to a greater glory. You shall be blessed in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, my dear friend, we're going to go into a time of prayer. And even as we begin to pray, I want to encourage you to do two simple things. The first thing that I want you to do is just say this out loud with me. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you in this place. Come and touch me, Holy Spirit, and help me to embrace the new me in Christ. Help me, Lord Holy Spirit, to let go of the past and to push on towards what you have for me. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Wherever my dear friend is watching today, let your divine power, your divine grace, your anointing and your presence just begin to touch and surround my dear friend right now. Wherever my dear friend is watching and my dear friend is trusting you for a miracle, let a miracle take place. I thank you Lord that my dear friend is a new creation in you. 
and my dear friend will never be held back by the past anymore. Even as my dear friend is in you, my dear friend is going to a greater glory and a greater altitude. I thank you that right now something is happening. Something is changing. Whatever was from the past that was stubborn, that was trying to hold on to my dear friend's life and not allowing my dear friend to move forward, I thank you that today as we pray, it is being broken off right now. I thank you that as we pray today, my dear friend is going from glory to glory. And all those things of the past that were holding my dear friend back shall not hold my dear friend back anymore. I thank you that in you, Lord, we are a new creation. I thank you, Jesus, that in you we are a new creation and we can achieve divine things. We can achieve great things that you have purposed for us to do. Wherever there's any stagnation, let my dear friend begin to make progress. Let my dear friend begin to go forward. Father, I pray, help my dear friend to receive and embrace the new person that they have become in Christ. Lord, I pray that you will bless my dear friend's family, my dear friend's friends, and wherever my dear friend is trusting you for a miracle, wherever my dear friend is trusting you for jobs and better jobs, whatever my dear friend is trusting you for, as long as it's in line with your word, let it be established on my dear friend's life. As my dear friend is a new creation and the old has passed away, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, our Lord is gracious. Our Lord is merciful. He is a good God and He is with you. Remember, my dear friend, the old has passed away and you are now new in Christ. You are a new creation. And that which was impossible for you in the past, it is no longer impossible. You are set free from all those things that limited you in the past. You are engrafted into the family of God and you shall go places and you shall make your impact in the name of Jesus. Remember, better is not good enough. The best is yet to come. God is such a good God and He is going to bless you. Always keep your trust in Jesus and you shall never be disappointed. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you and goodbye. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, Shalom and goodbye.